a shower and it'll get slippery around here. This is where it's just getting started now off around Chicago down toward Indy as well. That all that moisture is going to come this way. Clouds are coming in now that plus a southwest breeze. So we're not going to drop anymore from where we are right now. We're in the mid teens. We'll stay there low to mid teens and the moisture will come in again and get started as we go. So here's a quick little idea how the next 48 hours goes. There's our batch tomorrow. This is 10 o'clock. It's a little purplier. It's a little darker color to the south and north, and that means the snow is a little bit heavier. I'll show you snow totals again. And that goes through midday, and then uh, we're talking about Friday night again. I should say Thursday night into Friday, and it lasts. It's a little bit more spread to the north, and it might last a little bit longer, but it goes by. And then the reinforcing cold that gets the weekend started is going to make very heavy snow bands out here on the southern part of Lake Michigan, southern part of Lake Huron that could involve the thumb, maybe Port Huron, Port Sandalac too. We'll keep track of that for you. But here are the totals for uh, tonight through tomorrow midday or so. So it's around uh, two to three inches Detroit through most of Wayne, Monroe, and then the uh, eastern half or so, uh, southeastern half or so Lenawee County from Adrian up toward Ann Arbor. Over here through Pontiac and Oakland County up to Richmond, that's the one to two, and then an inch or so through most of Livingston County, northwest Oakland, Lapeer, and St. Clair County. A little less than that as you go towards Sanilac. It just tapers off uh, to the north. So this is now Thursday night to Friday. It looks pretty darn similar, right? I think we probably take the third inch out of the south, but from Detroit over to Ann Arbor and south, it's a couple of inches. Same kind of thing. It will impact the morning rush as well. One to two across the northern suburbs and then about an inch or so around I-69 and even less into the tip of the thumb and the Saginaw Valley. So snow into Thursday morning commute, snow into Friday morning commute, and you're going to have to watch for slippery roads. It's a little warmer, yes, but it's still not at great temperatures to just spread the salt and say everything's going to be okay. We're in the mid-teens. And again, we'll be there when it's snowing tomorrow to get the day started. The southwest breeze makes it feel colder, but at least the wind chills now are mostly, if not all, above zero. There's Ann Arbor at zero, one in Detroit, four in Mount Clemens, three in Pontiac right now. It's something. I know it's still cold, but it's better than it has been. So uh, tonight, we're going to go stay where we are in the teens. Snow comes in, takes over from south to north. Tomorrow, late in the day, it's out of here, but we'll go mid-20s. That's an improvement, too. So it looks like we'll get a west, west to southwest wind only in 5 to 10 miles an hour. Friday, another batch coming in here, so watch the roads in the morning. So two days in the low to mid-20s, right around 20 Saturday and Sunday. But look at the low temperatures again. We start at 3 on Saturday, 7 on Sunday. Here's the real improvement that's lasting for a while anyway. Monday, 33, all the way up to 39 on Wednesday. We might have to watch out for some iciness Tuesday in that transition, but a much warmer week overall next week.